Dungeons in ESO are a great source of XP, loot, and achievements. Depending on the type, they can also be completed very quickly, some taking less than 12 minutes. However, if you've ever tried to run a dungeon, you know a big chunk of your runtime can be eaten up just by waiting in queue. Some Reddit posts even claim wait times of over 30 minutes. If you ask for advice on this subject, you will usually get told, queue as a healer or tank for less queue time. However, is this even true? And if so, which one is more likely to give you lower wait times, if any? I aim to answer all of these questions in today's video. You're just ruining it. You're Look at my lips, you're ruining it. If you don't care about the maths and just want an answer, then here it is. You should queue as a tank, but can they at least wait for me to finish before clicking off the video? Anyway, for everyone else, yes, I have already done that bit in the first video, but secondly, <laughs> let's get into the maths. First of all, we will answer the question of, does it even matter which role? Yes, it does. <sighs> but does queuing it as a damage roll really add that much to the wait? Yes. <sighs> to show you how much longer the waiting time is, I will first need to explain how I got the no We queued up as each class timed how long it took for us to get a match and repeated that 20 times for each roll, then took the average wait time. Can you stop cutting me up? Yes. Where were we? Uh, oh yeah, I did queue up for each roll 20 times, 10 times on the EU server, and then 10 times on the US server. That also means I queued a total of 60 times, and as part of that, it also means I left the 60 groups. To the players who I quit on multiple times? I'm really sorry, but your sacrifice is for the greater good. Shut it! So, let's speak numbers. 24, 83, 92... That was nowhere near as funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> anyway, the actual numbers. I will first break them down between the US and EU servers, since there were some notable changes in wait time. So, for the US server, the best role to queue as is... The tank. With an average wait time of 9 seconds, the lowest time I waited as a tank was 1 second, and the highest wait time was 73 seconds, or 1 minute 13 seconds. The second best class to queue as... To nobody's surprise, the healer, with a surprisingly high average wait time of 91 seconds, which is 1 minute 31 seconds. The lowest wait time as a healer was 1 second, and the longest wait time was a staggering 588 seconds, or 9 minutes 48 seconds. And in last place, surprising nobody, the damage roll, with an eye-watering average wait time of 396 seconds, or 6 minutes 36 seconds, the lowest wait time was a disgusting 290 seconds, or 4 minutes 50 seconds, and the highest was almost 9 minutes at 539 seconds, or 8 minutes 59 seconds. Now, I expected the damage roll to be a longer wait, but I didn't expect the average to be close to 7 minutes. That's insane. Next up, the EU server. The best role to queue as is, again, the tank, with a slightly higher average wait time of 25 seconds. My lowest wait time was 1 second, and the highest was 102 seconds, or 1 minute 42 seconds. The second role on our list, yet again, the healer, with a much better average wait time of 26 seconds compared to the American server. At the low end, I experienced a 3 second wait time, and at the high end, 90 seconds, which is 1 minute 30 seconds. Now last, and definitely least, unless you're talking about wait times, and I guess last and most? It's the damage roll, with an average wait time of 262 seconds, otherwise known as 4 minutes 22 seconds. The lowest wait time I had, an amazing 1 second, and the longest, a not so amazing 367 seconds, or 6 minutes 7 seconds. Next up, I averaged out both EU and US waiting times for each class to get our total average wait time over all servers. The numbers are as follows. At the top of our list, with the best average wait time, is the tank, with 17 seconds. Next up, is the healer with 58 seconds, and then last and certainly least is the 
average queue time as a damage, which is 329 seconds, or 5 minutes 29 seconds. So, in conclusion, what should you queue as for the lowest waiting times? Wait, are you serious? Did you not just watch the video? You skipped ahead, didn't you? Well, I'm not going to tell you that you should queue as a tank and avoid queuing as a damage. You should watch the video and find that out for yourself. But in all seriousness, even though the data I gathered suggests queuing as a tank is best, if you're in a scenario where you need everyone in your team to pull their weight, queuing as a role that your build can't do is eventually going to lose you all of that saved waiting time. So please, unless you're going to do a random daily dungeon, just queue as whichever role you can perform as. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me ruin more games with useless calculations, then please subscribe and leave a like to help me save myself from the never-ending pit of loneliness that I feel daily. I've been me, you've been you, and long wait times have just been ruined by maths, maths, maths.